from a whisper Hey you guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jay Crystal. It's very, very nice to meet you. If you like the video, please do subscribe because why not? Why not? But anyway, you guys, I'm in a little bit different setting today. I am in my bathroom because I'm doing my everyday skincare routine now. Disclaimer, I don't do a lot to my skin in the morning. It's very clean and very simple. I don't add a lot of products just because my skin can be very sensitive and it tends to break out on certain things. And I can't add a lot of products to my skincare routine because then I just won't know what's causing breakouts and stuff like that. So I do try to keep it very, very simple. One or two products here and there. But if you guys are interested in watching, then keep on watching. Yes, Joy. And um, yeah, again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into what I do every morning. Cool? Oh, okay, one other small disclaimer here. If you saw my past video, which was my everyday morning routine, then you would see that I'm wearing the same thing, but that is because these videos were filmed in conjunction, AKA they were filmed on the same day, but they kind of coincide too, because I filmed that video, then you know, I was like, okay, my skincare is next, so just made sense that I was wearing the same thing, you know, continuously, which is great. Also, check out the My Everyday um, Morning Routine because it was kind of a different video for me to film, a little bit more vibier, which I appreciated and I really loved the way it turned out. So I will link it somewhere here. But with that being said, let's now really get into the skincare routine, okay? So first things first, I usually wash my face. Now I do wash my face mostly at night, not so much in the morning, but if I have forgotten to take off my makeup or anything, I will bring out my cleanser. So this is the Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleanser and I've been using this for years and it's worked really great for me. Never had any problems with it. So yeah, this is what I wash my face with. So let's do that. All right, so after the initial face wash, I will then usually grab my lip balm because I hate when my lips get dried out, especially just after I've washed my face. So this is the, it's running out. This is the Honest Magic Balm Beauty. I think it's by, um, there's, it's a celebrity who makes this. I think, I wanna say Jessica Alba, I might be lying to you, but it's just a great general beauty balm. It's like a chapstick, but like a little bit more um, shiny. And it's just a great all over. I will also sometimes use this like in my makeup routine to highlight my cheeks or like under my eyebrows or even like my shoulder because when the shoulder pops, you pop, you know, you know? What? Brianna, is that, is that you? And all these products will be linked down below in case you guys are wondering or interested in purchasing them. So after my lip balm, I will then grab my moisturizer. Now I do use a couple different moisturizers depending on the weather and also how I'm feeling. I'm getting a text message, I apologize. Um, but yeah, if it's more of the warmer months, I will grab again my Eutrogena. This is the oil-free moisture and this is for a combination skin, it has a little pink tab. This one works really good as well. I've been using it for a few years too. And again, no complaints. Neutrogena is one of the only brands that doesn't break me out or cause me rashes. So I really appreciate them for that and I'll just put this all over my face. <laughs> all right, so the other moisturizer that I'll use usually in the winter months when my skin gets really dried out is this one by Eucerine. Now, I really love Eucerine. My whole entire family uses it. This is the em emollient, emollient enriched. I can read, I know, thrilling. Um, this is the lotion, but I usually use the cream, which is way thicker than the lotion, but both practically do the same thing. They're both fragrance-free and also dermatologically tested. Um, they don't have dyes or parabens in them, which is great. And also they deliver long lasting hydration. I read that off the back. Um, but yeah, both of them are really great. I just have the lotion one on me to show you guys, but I do use the cream one, which is just, again, a little bit more thicker than the lotion one, but they practically do the same thing. It just depends on the consistency that you prefer. All right, really quickly, you guys, I just wanted to mention this company that I've been seeing everywhere, and I'm pretty sure you guys have been too, and that is Glossier. Now, I just picked up, or picked up, or was given a priming moisturizer sample from their company. Um, I've been seeing them again everywhere, and I wouldn't say it's the most moisturizing moisturizer it's not like eucerine or anything like that but it is really nice to layer on top if you want a little bit of extra moisture even throughout the day and i really love the whole entire vibe of the company i think it's like 
really cool and it's woman run so I feel like that's something to give them a nod to so yeah so the last thing or the last product I use is this Curology bottle I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these guys around a lot and also heard of them so mine has azelaic acid clindamycin and zinc prior pri Prethione, Prethione. Well, we'll keep it at Prethione. Um, so I've only been using this for a couple of days and I do use it at night only, unless I forget to put it on one day. But I've only been using it for about two to three days and I can't say that I have seen a difference in my skin. It is a lot smoother and some of my inflammation is going down. Now that might be because of the Curology or it just might be because the weather is warming up and everyone knows that I thrive in warmer weather. I just, just, it's been that way all my life. Let me tell you but i have been using it and i just wanted to mention it really quickly because it is something i've added in recently to my skincare routine um but yeah i will give you an update on that if i do an update to the skincare routine and I'll let you know how that went for me but um yeah that's about that's about it and it's about all i put on my face yes i don't feel like i'm showing you anything profound she walked out with the floral blouse back then Everyone was near She walked out with the floral blouse Back then Everyone was near all right, you guys, so that does wrap it up for me here and my everyday makeup routine and or morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. With that being said, um, also turn on post notifications so you know when I do post a new video. Um, the next video is probably going to be an everyday makeup routine because we're, we're going on a trend, you guys. Do you see the trend that's happening? Do you see it? Good? Cool? Cool. Um, but I keep getting messages. I'm so popular. No, um, but again, guys, if you enjoyed it, make sure to go watch my other past videos and my newer videos that are coming up soon. This summer is going to be really fun. I have some really cool kind of more personalized videos planned for you guys. So I think that's going to be great to produce as well as show you. So, um, yeah, with that being said, have a blessed day wherever you guys are. And I will see you guys next time for a brand new video. Ciao, babies.